Hello everybody, this is Connor at Boats Don't Sink here with another week of Weekly Weiss for June 17th, 2022. This week, I really only have one thing that I want to talk about mostly. It is the Bushiroad TCG Strategy Presentation 2022 Summer. I mentioned this last week. Uh, it happened on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night for a lot of uh, US, North America time zones. Um, and it was pretty much the sets for the upcoming uh, three-ish months ahead of what we currently know. Uh, and a couple of other announcements. Uh, so I just want to talk about those. Maybe look at what that might have in store for the English format in the future. First off, the new set announcements themselves. We got five new set announcements uh, this time. Normally it's about six to eight. This one was a little bit on the small side. Uh, but... Looking at them one at a time. First up, if you can't tell, the logo pretty much gives it away, even blurred out. Star Wars Comeback Booster. So this isn't a normal booster pack. Uh, we've never gotten a uh, Comeback Booster before. Uh, we've, in the past, we've gotten like the Comeback Campaigns, which were just sets of promo cards to boost old series. Uh, what this, so far from what we know, is... Uh, it's going to be the same art and card names with new effects. Uh, the arrow there in the middle says Renewal. So I guess it's going to be uh, the set like redone as a more modern effect since this set did come out originally in 2017. It was supposed to come out even before that but got sort of pushed back a little bit. Um, so pretty excited for that. It's... Star Wars is super cool. The card art on all these, if you haven't seen them, is gorgeous. Uh, I mean, this Darth Vader right here, like that, this card is just iconic. Uh, so super excited to see what that's going to have. Uh, curious if it'll put Star Wars back in a good position in the Japanese meta. Uh, it comes out September 23rd in Japanese. Uh, the big question, do we think this will come to English? Well, no, frankly. Uh, these Disney titles, uh, you know, Star Wars, we got Marvel, uh, upcoming is Pixar. Uh, licensing on these is difficult, right? It's Disney. Uh, Disney Japan is pretty different from Disney that has, like, the North America licenses, Europe licenses. Uh, so it's a lot easier for them to get them over there in Japan. Uh, over here, you have things competing. Um, previously, when Star Wars came out, you know, there was the Star Wars X-Wing card game. Or Star Wars X-Wing, Star Wars Destiny card game, uh, both by Fantasy Flight. Uh, which could have caused some issues there, and otherwise just, you know, the series being probably very expensive uh, to get licensed. Those sets aren't even legal for play in the Japanese format in North America for WGP tournaments, so really don't think we'll be seeing them, uh, really don't think we'll be seeing this set coming over to English. Though, I will say I would love it if it came out. I'd be very excited for that. Uh, I've been watching the Obi-Wan series lately, and it's glorious. I'm a big fan. Looking at our second set that got announced, we have D4DJ Groovy Mix. This is the D4DJ mobile game. Uh, D4DJ being a, another Bushiroad property. Uh, it's it's DJ girls, basically. Uh, so more pseudo idols uh, along the lines of Bang Dreams bands. Um, I'm not super familiar with the series. I... You know, I've looked at the girls' designs, um, but I never I never got too far into it. Uh, so, you know, maybe maybe if this comes to English, we will... Uh, I'll have to get into that a little more and learn some more about them. Uh, we did get the English version of the mobile game in May of 2021, a little over a year ago. Honestly, I don't know how that's doing, like, sales-wise. I don't know if it's looking pretty strong. I know Bang Dream took off pretty well. So I'm, I'm not sure about D4DJ, whether it's doing good or not. But do I think it'll come to English? Yes, I do expect to see this one. Uh, when Review Starlight came out, we got the Review Starlight set one. Uh, that one sold fairly poorly, so we didn't get the following sets. Uh, but just like Bang Dream, you know, these Bushiroad titles, are, they're pretty easy to bring over. So with the mobile game already existing in English, uh, I think it's pretty likely that Bushiroad will at least give this first set a try, and if it doesn't do well, you know, maybe future sets that Japan gets for it won't come to English. Uh, but I, I 
fully expect at least this first set they'll they'll give it a try. Um, you know, with it being a lot easier than a normal series to bring over since they have so much of a stake in it already. Looking at our third set here. Overlord, Volume 2. Uh, or if you bought into the English set, Nazarick. Uh, this set is honestly surprises me a little bit. Um, it's a it's an anime that's getting its fourth season upcoming or recently or something. Uh, I think upcoming uh, is the fourth season. Uh, it's not one I've kept up with too much, but you know the first booster came out in Japanese in 2018, came out in English in 2020 near the end of the year, um, right around the same time as like Slime and Memory Snow and sets like that. It's uh, that only covered Season 1. This set uses the key visual for Season 3, so I'm assuming this will be similar to Data Live Volume 2, where it's Seasons 2 and 3 in one set. Uh, pretty excited for this. Overlord is a deck that, you know, Set 1 had a really cool niche when it came out. It was a standby deck, but it only had 4 standby. Uh, but it had one of those combos that could stand a character when you play the Climax. And it was on a 2-1 early play, so your your combo to stand guys was bigger than most of them at the time. Normally they were like 1-0, 5-Ks. Uh, this was a 2-1, it was about a 7-K. And you could bring out a 2-2, the first of its kind, that when it direct attacks, uh, you get a stock from Waiting Room. Which is, uh, Fate Grand Order has that on the trial at Gilgamesh. Bofuri got it on the double rare Misery. Uh, this was the original, and it was their standby target, right? So you could build resources, and they had a rest counter that you could sort of loop with a salvage brainstorm and come back triggers and keep making stock for it by direct attacking. And then you'd win lanes with the counter and get some direct attack there, so on and so forth. It was a really cool deck, but it fell out of favor pretty quickly because uh, other better standby decks... This was sort of during the time in 2018 where standby decks went from being not good to pretty good, like... In a, in a pretty quick amount of time, and there were a couple standby decks back-to-back -back that just sort of kept improving upon the concept. So by the time, like, uh, Fujimi Fantasia Blinko came out, this kind of got pushed to the side as not good enough as a standby deck, especially compared to 8 standby. Uh, so getting some extra support in there, maybe bringing back that standby deck uh, with the Kakaidas concept, um, make a pretty cool set. Uh, so of course, you know... Do I think this is going to come to English? For sure. This is definitely going to come to English. Uh, we just got the reprint of set one, or are just like supposed to soon get it. It was announced near the end of last year. And all we've seen on Twitter's updates that it's coming soon. They'll have more details. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're getting the reprint of set one. I, I can... Part of me wants to even imagine, right, like, they're they're reprinting set one in advance. Like, knowing that this was somewhere down the pipeline and would be coming eventually and they would need to have set one reprinted for it um but either way you know even if that's not the case set one was obviously popular enough demand wise that they thought it was worth reprinting so you know if if that's popular set two we're definitely gonna get there's there's no way we don't so super excited for that fourth we have key all-star uh so some of you might remember we got the key 20th anniversary i believe i think it was the 20th anniversary set um a little while ago in jp it had support for like charlotte little busters uh angel beats rewrite all that uh notably it did not have summer pockets this one we can see does have summer pockets uh and also has a few other series that previously were not represented in weiss uh that are getting their first cards here uh in the sort of key overarching uh neo standard uh, and of course, you know, the Angel Beats cards will likely be Neo Standard with regular Angel Beats, rewrite with rewrite, so on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to get support for, you know, five or six different sets here and the key series itself. So pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people are big fans of key. Uh, they're hit or miss for me. A lot of them are, are iffy. You know, Angel Beats, really popular. Um, but the others, I think in the West, maybe not, not as much. That being said, uh, do I think it's going to come to English? Yeah, probably not. Uh, we didn't get Key 20th Anniversary, and most of the series that are getting support in this uh, also aren't represented in English. 
those being, you know, like, Clanad, Rewrite, Little Busters, etc. The only one we really got in English was Angel Beats, like I said, which was significantly more popular in the West than the rest of them. Um, I feel like, you know, you can take all of these anime names and mention them to some, some like, a more casual anime fan, and they're probably going to recognize Angel Beats, but probably not any of the others. Uh, so I don't think this is a good, a really good sales point for English. So uh, if you want to get this one, you know, go get it in Japanese. Don't don't worry too much. And lastly, the fifth set they announced was Sword Art Online Anime Tenth Anniversary. So if you remember, not terribly long ago, uh, a couple years, 2020 or beginning of 2020. Uh, we got the Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary set that was for the 10th anniversary of the light novels. And the entire set was light novel artwork. Looked beautiful. One of the, like, most beautiful sets in a while, in my opinion. Uh, I really like a lot of that artwork. Regardless, we never got this in English, uh, unfortunately. But, Sword Art 10th Anniversary for the anime, celebrating the anime's 10th anniversary... Yeah, I think we're going to get this. Um, you know, some of you might be like, oh, but we didn't get the last 10th anniversary set. Why are we going to get this one? Well, we've gotten everything Sword Art anime in English. Even Alicization Volume 2, which came out after 10th anniversary in Japanese, we got in English. I think very clearly, like, the reason we didn't get 10th anniversary probably had something to do with all of the light novel artwork and that being under a different license that they'd have to get, and there might have been issues there. But we've continually gotten all of the anime sets, uh, even with the Anaplex issues and losing signatures, or supposed Anaplex issues, I should say. Uh, we don't know that 100%. Uh, but all, all the stuff that's lost signatures, Sword Art has been among them. We still got those sets regardless. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that we'll be getting this one as well. Just because, you know, it, it's the anime licenses. We, we know we can get those. And Sword Art is immensely popular in the West. So, huge. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. I'm a big fan of the Sword Art deck. Um, so, really, really hoping we do get this one. And, you know, hoping deep down inside uh, that we're also going to get the Light Novel 20th Anniversary set maybe right before it. So, looking at all of these, five set announcements. Some pretty strong stuff overall, uh, especially Star Wars. Uh, and the Sword Art set, I think. Uh, only one of these being a new title, D4DJ, uh, with the rest of them being support sets, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and, you know, out of those five, three of them, I think, are pretty likely to come to English, so I think that's a, that's a pretty good hit rate. Uh, looking at what that does to our upcoming schedule, sort of, uh, potential upcoming English releases, starting with what we know that we have coming up, uh, Danmachi releases July 15th, Tokyo Revengers, July 29th. Quintessential Quintuplets, 2 on August 12th. And Attack on Titan, final season, August 26th. Followed by Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl on October 14th. Sayakano on October 28th. And The Seven Deadly Sins, Revival of the Commandments. At some unspecified date in the future... Uh, at this point, it's looking probably like December, like they normally do for the English originals. But, you know, apart from Seven Deadly Sins, what are some other sets in Japanese that are, you know, pretty likely to get announced for English uh, in the coming months? Well, there's actually a lot of them. Uh, Bang Dream 5th Anniversary. It's Bang Dream. Uh, it's almost guaranteed we're going to get it. Uh, I think this will probably be coming out somewhere around the first week of April to celebrate the 5th anniversary of the English version of the mobile game, just like they did with the Premium Booster this year. Uh, Sayakano sets 2 and 3, obviously. We're getting set 1. They probably have plans for 2 and 3 coming out. Kaguya-sama Love is War set 2. We got set 1 in English, again, despite the signature issues. So I think set 2, pretty likely that we're going to get that as well. Kaguya was one of the better selling sets in English and very popular uh, in the meta. Uh, quintessential quintuplets three again we got set one already it was one of the best selling english sets of all time uh before hollow live i suppose and we're getting set two in a couple months so you know it's again it's another one where it seems like obvious we're gonna get set three and then the sets that we had announced today uh d4 dj overlord volume two 
Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary, uh, as well as one that was announced three months ago during that stream, Data Live Volume 2. Again, Data Live, already popular enough to get one reprint, uh, did a ton in the meta, everyone was playing it. It's very popular in the West. I think it's pretty pretty obvious we're going to get Data Live Volume 2. That's still a couple months out in Japanese, so we have time on that. Uh, and, of course, the big the big copium, uh, Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary, which, you know, we still haven't gotten after a couple years, but Sayakano was a 2018 set, and we still managed to get that in 2022, so I wouldn't say it's out of the question yet, um, if there's still a chance they can get it. And with Sword Art 10th Anniversary anime coming, seems pretty possible, at the very least. Uh, next, the other big thing that they had during the strategy presentation was Vice Schwartz Blau. We don't really know anything about this other than uh, Kidani said that it's a sort of casual version of Weiss Schwartz, um, aimed toward a more casual crowd, maybe a, a faster version of Weiss Schwartz. It's not 30 minute games. Um, it's, it's a special project they're doing for the 15th anniversary of Weiss Schwartz, uh, which will be in. Uh, I think February or March of uh, 2023. On July 14th, we will be getting the announcements for the series that are participating in it and more info on sort of the game system itself. So until then, we don't really know a whole lot about it other than 15th anniversary project sort of aimed at a more casual audience. Uh, I think most people are expecting this to be somewhere along the lines of Yu-Gi-Oh's like Speed Duel or Cardfight Vanguard Zero, where they're just sort of um, simplified down versions of the game for, you know, just quick um, touch and go play rather than a long 30 minute game or so, like I said. So excited to see what that'll bring uh, on July 14th, and I'm sure we'll talk about it more when we get that info. And lastly, uh, actually, as I was putting this together to finish up and record, we got some more English sets announced. Uh, so the first one, the Hololive Super Expo 2022 Premium Booster. Uh, this came out in Japanese officially, like June 3rd, so a couple weeks ago, and uh, was originally available back in March at the Hololive Super Expo. This is a set that, you know, I think some people were asking, like, oh, are we going to get this in English? I, I think it was pretty obvious all along, like, with how popular Hololive is just worldwide. Uh, and especially now with how how well the main booster and the trial decks sold. Like, I think it was pretty obvious we were going to get the Super Expo booster, right? Um, and with how much, you know, what Bushiroad and Y Shorts have been involved with all the Hololive stuff, I think it was... Pretty clear we'll be getting this at some point. Uh, I was personally expecting closer to November or like January or February, but September 30th is going to be the official release date for this set. Uh, earlier than I expected, and it fills in that missing gap that was between Attack on Titan at the end of August and then nothing until Bunny Girl in Sep or in uh, October. So this kind of fills in that gap. Uh, in addition, it will be available at Anime Expo and Gen Con. Uh, for early sales, which are in beginning of July and beginning of August, respectively. So you can get it there as well. Um, I unfortunately won't be making it to Anime Expo, but I was potentially going to Gen Con, and this might just make me want to go even more. Uh, and the other one, uh, no official announcement, but at Anime Expo they will be giving away a Kobayashi-san Dragon Maid uh, promo the climax so you know if they're giving away the promo i think it's pretty clear that we're going to be getting the set <laughs> in english um this is another one that i've been saying for a while has a pretty strong chance to come to english just because i think this is really popular in the west um just as another cute cute girls doing cute things sort of anime uh, with a little bit of a twist to it um as far as i can tell it's really popular so yeah uh, in addition the a uh, video game that came out recently in Japan comes out August 25th in English for PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Uh, it had a Weiss Schwartz promo in the Japanese version and was just recently confirmed to also have a Weiss Schwartz promo in the English version. We did not get any English like images of that card, 
Uh, but there was speculation that it would be the English version of the card, and therefore, you know, us getting an English set. So I think that's I think that's definitely happening. Uh, we just don't have an official announcement for it yet. If I had to guess, that'll be the November set, with Seven Deadly Sins coming out in December. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, lots of exciting new news here. Lots of exciting sets. I'm really looking forward to future set announcements. Uh, you know, for these sets to come over to English, since that's the only format I play. Uh, but yeah, everything like release schedule looks pretty pretty stacked. Uh, you can follow me at Boats Don't Sink on Twitter. You can check out our store, Iron City Games, on Facebook or IronCityGames.tcgplayerpro.com on TCG Player. You can get anything you need singles wise from us. Uh, and pre-orders for playsets coming up. So if any of these announced sets interest you, you know, look into that. We might have some playsets for you. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.